Hello. <laughs> what is going on, guys? Hey, what's that? What's that? That's the Green Bay Packers. Because the next video I'm going to watch is the history of the Green Bay Packers, which I cannot wait to watch. But this video, this video has been brought on by a group of guys over at Green Gridiron. Green Gridiron. Green Gridiron. You might have heard me suggest uh, you go and check out their video because they made a feature on me. They did a feature video talking about me and my channel and what I'm doing and they also asked their subscribers to go and check my channel out and you know what, I thought, what great guys, I'm going to do the exact same. So that's what I did in one of my previous videos. But this one's going to be a reaction. Green Gridiron, they reached out, to, well they, they made that video about me and um, they talk about on their channel different helmets. So they do helmet builds, they do specific custom helmet builds. They talk about how a helmet's made, they talk about the mechanics of it, they talk about different gizmos and gadgets, they talk about what's banned and what's not, from what I can tell. But I haven't actually watched one of their videos yet, so today that's exactly what we're going to do. Look for the first time at what goes in to building a helmet. I mentioned in the previous video that I want to buy a helmet very soon. I want to buy my pads, I want to buy a helmet and a shirt and the pants and everything. Chuck them on, go down to the field and try and run around as a wide receiver or a running back or a quarterback or anything, just try with a helmet on because I think that, you know, per peripheral vision, you guys must see us running around on a rugby field. Not only is, is the field fucking really wide compared to your one, but also the fact that we've got nothing on. It's so unrestricted, you know, the, the running ability and stuff is, um, it's not affected by anything that we wear. For example, if you're trying to look behind you to see defenders running after you, um, you pretty much only have to sort of tilt your head just a little bit and, and flick your eyes back and you can see. Whereas in a helmet, I assume, you're going to have to literally turn your head 90 degrees to see backwards. Um, that is when you've got the ball trying to get away from defenders, but also when you're running as a receiver looking back to try and receive the ball. I assume it's a lot harder than what I think, and I assume there's a lot more that goes into a helmet than what I think. And we're, we're going to find out exactly what goes into it today. So I'm going to sit back, well I want you to sit back, I'm going to sit forward and watch this. I want you to sit back, relax and watch this shit. You guys to sit back, relax, I'll roll the intro and see you guys in about six seconds. Peace. Alright guys, I have actually been looking forward to this for a long time. A real long time. Here is Green Gridiron. Let's just make sure I've got the screen recorder going. Yes, I do. Let's look at their most recent videos. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's read what they're about. We create and talk about football helmets, face masks, visors, chin straps, and all the little things that make each player's football helmet unique. At Green Gridiron, we service NFL, CFL, NCAA, and... Whoops, we had a little bit of a camera outage there, a battery outage, but we're back. Don't you worry guys, I'm not going to stop this video. This is an important one. Alright, let's try that again. We create and talk about football helmets, face masks, visors... <laughs> we create and talk about football helmets, face masks, visors, chin straps and all the little things that make each player's football helmet unique. At Green Gridiron, we service NFL, CFL, NCAA and teams at every level with face mask recon. And our website features tons of common and impossible to find items for players and collectors. We are the face masks. We are the face mask experts. So you actually work with the NFL? Hmm. Interesting. Alright. Videos. There's the one that I'm talking about. Rugby player football reactions. Rugby player reacts to American football players. And if you haven't watched it, it's an absolute spin out. I couldn't fucking believe it when someone was actually mentioning my name in a YouTube video. But um, yeah, I want to say once again, thanks guys. Thanks for the shout out. Thanks for the feature. And uh, thanks to your subscribers, I found out about it. And now I'm here. So what, what, what team do I do? What, what team? How to customize your own helmet. Um, no. You know what? Let's go to most popular videos. 
Helmet builds. Popular uploads. Um, do you have any general like informational videos about it? About helmets or do you put all of the information in each of your videos? You know what? I'm going to look at their I'm going to look I'm going to look at their most recent video. I can't choose, so I'm just going to go most recent one. It's 18 minutes long. But that doesn't matter. Let's do it. There he is. I'm Jay. We've got to see behind the camera today. We've hey, got Jay. Carolina on our mind. We are knocking out this amazing Carolina Panthers chrome helmet. And we're going to be giving it away. Check it out. You're going to be giving it away? Actually, you know what? I don't really know much about the Carolina Panthers. I'm going to go Green Gridiron Packers. Let's do that one. Okay. Let's do an unboxing of an authentic Speed Green Green Bay Packers helmet. Let's do this. Hi, this will be a unboxing of the new... No, nope, that's not from your channel. Whoops, <laughs> sorry. Um... Ah, oh, where are we at, man? Where are we at? Uh, da, 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 da. You know what? You know what? Let's just do this one. I'm Jay. We've got to see behind the camera. Today we've got Carolina on our mind. We are knocking out this amazing Carolina Panthers chrome helmet. And we're going to be giving her away. Imagine yeah. playing in there, a chrome helmet. <laughs> you really look, would look like a um, Transformer or a Power Ranger. All right, before we get into this one, I just want to thank everybody for watching the videos, leaving your comments below on what types of helmets you want to see in the future. Steve, we've had a, I don't know, a lot of people ask for Carolina Panthers helmet build. Especially the last month or so. Technically, Steve, we are in their space, their yes. region, right? We're in South Carolina. That's right. That's so, right. technically, uh, I guess if I grew up here, I'd probably be a Carolina Panthers yeah, of course you would. I remember back in the day, I actually saw Carolina Panthers play the New York Jets in Death Valley in Clemson. I was way back when I was a student, so that was kind of cool. Um, I wish they would come back and play in the Death Valley and in New England's Bryce down in Columbia. I think that would be really cool and bring more fans in. So. Well, they should. They're not the North Carolina Panthers. No, they're the Carolina Panthers. That's right. And this one is going to be out of this world, I think. Yeah, this is going to be nuts. This is another one we've never done this with this type of combination, so it might not turn out, but it, uh, we'll see. We'll find out. Yeah. Um, and we're starting off with a Riddell Speed Flex with a blackout package. This is going to be a youth helmet that we're using. And we have this in a beautiful blue Carolina, or say Carolina blue chrome. We also have on here Carolina blue accent pieces in the, we've uh, chromed out the strap locks. On this guy, we've chromed out the Sports Star chin strap cuff on this guy, and we've chromed out the um, Under Armour visor clips on this guy. And we even did the um, valve caps. Oh, yeah, and chromed the valve caps in that. Um, so then we have to go to the face mask. So on this one, we're using an SF2BDSW, and we've kind of done a black chrome. It's not super black. We kind of took it, took uh, the, the color down a little bit just so it gets more reflection of the chrome. The darker you go with the colors on chrome, the less reflection you see. It's basically like painting a mirror. And then we went and used matching uh, the same color to match the clips on the face mask. We've got some special decals coming. This is not the main Carolina Panthers logo. This is their alternate or their secondary logo mm -hmm. that we're going with this. So this is, should be a pretty unique look. And uh, we've got black straps on the chin strap, but we're also going with a Shock 2.0 Sapphire visor. Not the identical color blue, but pretty damn close. I think it's going to look really nice with this one. Uh, I, see, I don't even know where to start. I'm going to go with the back. I'd like to work on the back of the helmet. Get it all going before we put the face mask on sometimes. You'll notice if you watch other videos, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Every time. Seriously, man, I, like seeing him polish that, I can, like, Having your favorite team, uh, having a helmet from your favorite team, like as a centerpiece or an ornament or something, like sitting on your mantelpiece or sitting on sitting in a cabinet or somewhere, would be a sick. Like in your office, actually, that's where I would love to have a helmet for my favorite team. Would be sitting in my office. That would be sick. But I don't have a favorite team yet. 
And maybe I never will. So don't try and force me, all right? Because I'll make up my mind eventually. Tell my put the face mask on before I do the back. I always regret it. You regret it, yes. So let's not have any regrets this time around. So what we've got here is the rear decal. And I want to send a thank you out to our friends up in North Carolina, actually Charlotte, uh, to be precise. Um, T. Sully put this up with some of these decals. So we're going to put, um, I'm going to start from the center out, and we're going to go with number 18. Keep it what year is this, Steve? It is 2018, man. Yeah, for long time watchers, one of, one of the guys in the back, um, in the shop here, he used to do some videos for us here and there, and he probably will in the future. Um, he's a big Panthers fan. Yeah, he's, he's all about the Panthers. Yeah, maybe we should call Corey up here. And you want to get him up here? You know, in fact, Steve, you know, Corey... Where are you going to put it? <laughs> this is South Carolina. Right. And for anybody who's been south to South Carolina... It's kind of warm. It's really warm. <laughs> um, and Corey's a guy, he works in our warehouse. Um, this guy must, he must sweat a gallon a day. He sweats more than any human being I've ever seen. He would work at it. You know, see, if this helmet was, you know, we're doing this, it was really just going to go into our collection. It would kind of be a nice thing. What if we were decided to say, let's, you know, let's give this guy a quarter. Wow. That's kind of a thank you for. Damn. Big cool, man. Why don't you send it to me? Look at Jay, give him back. No, Steve. What a fucking legend. stripes here and one interesting thing about the Panthers when they put their stripes on they kind of start it right up underneath the front bumper so we're going to want to get it up under there and with the speed flex almost made for these types of stripes because it follows the contours perfectly don't want no bubbles in my decals Mm, that does look good. From here, the stripe looks as planned, super subtle against that chrome. One of those where you gotta have to <laughs> Thanks, dude. take a second look. First, you see it and you're like, wow, that's a really sweet job. Looks, you know, the chrome and everything, but the reality is that's really sweet. Once you look up to it, and you kind of realize what it is. It's, that's the look that we're going for. Mm, I like the stripes, they do look good. scissors out here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this back a little bit and just cut it a nice clean edge. You don't want it folding under? Obviously not. Guys, I just want to remind you of the fact that I have never worn one of these things in my life, ever. So I'm watching this thinking, what does this actually feel like on your head? How heavy is it? That's what I want to know. For this and all the stuff here that we sell below, 
Uh, but this is a really nice feature. If you like buckles, if you like a speed flex, but you prefer the buckles of a chin strap, flex action, the, the flex adapter from SportsStar is the way to go. So are you going to pull those straps through and then... Hang on, let me just quickly check. Um, how much does a NFL helmet weigh? Two point four and two point six. How how heavy is a football? Most brands of football helmets weigh five to six pounds. The weight of the shoulder pads can vary. Linemen and linebackers wear shoulder pads at about six pounds, six pounds, while wide receivers and tailbacks wear lighter units of about three to five pounds. Okay, so five pounds for each might be ten pounds. That's about five kilos worth of gear. Okay. And cut them down? No, I'm just going to leave them. Gotcha. I just, I just tuck them in. Okay. I guess see if Corey wants to cut them down, he can. I can't believe he's going to have this helmet. He's going to freak out. Yeah, so why don't we do this? Why don't, we, why, don't we, why don't you go get him and then kind of call him in here and say, Hey, Corey, we want your expertise. Is he going to wear it in a game? Or is it going to be a centerpiece? And by the way, I mean, this is 100% real. He, he is, this is genuine, guys. We're not faking. We kind of did just come up with this, and he is not aware. So I'll go get him, okay? Oh, no. See, a few minutes ago, I wasn't aware. <laughs> All right, hang on. This is the Power Rangers, man. Look at this thing. Tighten those screws. All right, here he comes. What up, man? We are doing a special build that we need Panthers and Vikings. So, Corey, we were just telling the folks how we have a resident Panthers fan in here. That would be okay. Put them on these people. <laughs> Every time you know, we had to hey, man. show for a little while, where you would. Everybody would choose who they thought was going to win. Their lock of the week, I think you were trying, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I would say almost every time, it seemed like you were picking the Panthers. You know, the first thing that I thought of when I saw that guy is, I like the fit of that T-shirt. That's the first thing I thought. I was like, I don't like what's on the front, but I like the fit. If it was all black with my logo on it, with the, the way that the sleeves are that length, covering the bicep, I love it, man. I love, like, I love the baggy sort of T-shirt, like longer sleeves than usual. Um, sort of look, but uh, you're about to get a helmet, dude. So let's see it. Come on, man. There for a while, I was. Corey, slide on over a little bit. See your, there you go. Because you were kind of half in and half out. <laughs> so, Corey, tell us, how are the Panthers going to do this year? Uh, I think we're going to go back to the Super Bowl. Oh, really? No, I'm just bullshit. <laughs> 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 what what, what, what gives you going to be your first loss? Sometime in 2019. Week one, bro. Find out what my boy's going to do. Well, I mean, hopefully they'll do, hopefully they'll at least make the playoffs. Yeah. yeah. It'd be nice. Have some faith, bro. I think they're going to do. May I help? It'd be nice if they went back to the Super Bowl, but. Well, I think with so many teams in the NFL, my take it, you know, preseason, beginning of the year, it's who can stay healthy. You know, sure. you can lose. Yeah. Is Good that, you star play. As you know, when, when you're a team and you lose not only your best wide receiver in OBJ, but you also leave, oh, I don't know, your next five best receivers. Right. All with an ankle injury. It kind of makes it tough. And, you know, uh, McCaffrey was hurt for a little bit. Or not McCaffrey. Yeah. Um, Keith Keith Lee. Keith Lee. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm liking it. The face mask almost looks bluish. Well, it's getting the reflection from, I think, a lot of the other color, a lot of the other blue in the helmet. So, technically... But that's what, a black chrome? Yeah. Well, it's a black chrome, but it's more like a... Polish it up, man. That looks nice. Charcoal. Oh, yeah. 
Almost too good to wear. Do you even wear these helmets, or are they just builds for, you know, whatever? There's, this is the secondary logo that the Panthers have. Right, right. And we're going to line these guys up. I kind of was thinking about this beforehand. When you do this, you just eyeball it? I mean, well, Corey. I mean, I guess centered on that side of the helmet, of course, but I mean. You know, they you, say you just this or you just that. That kind of makes it seem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Don't discredit my, my you, profession. You just, the thing on there. You just chrome the helmet. <laughs> Is this some? Is this for somebody specific? Well, we haven't decided yet on that. What do you think, Steve? Should we give this to somebody, or is this just going to go in our collection? Well, it's quite a helmet. Indeed, uh, that. You guys. I'm thinking it would look fantastic up on the wall with all the other goodies, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty dope. Oh yeah. Somebody would. Oh my God, would. <laughs> exactly. Have y'all um? Uh, let uh, T. Sully know about this. Well, he's the one who made a decal for us. Really? Yeah. So not only does he know, he's been in, he's been in contact. He's been with involved us. with it already. Yeah. Yeah. So T. Sully, not only is he a Panthers fan himself, but he does um, make some decals for some of the local high schools and teams up in the Charlotte area. He's connected up there. Yeah, he's got it going on. Ooh, that's a nice decal. It was nice. <laughs> it's really nice. So how's uh how's Cam gonna do this here, Corey? Honestly. I don't know. It's all about his it, attitude. Right? He needs the attitude he had when they went to the Super Bowl. Yeah, he's just gotta have that if he gets last it, season I don't I didn't see it. I mean, like, I, there was a little spurts and here and there, but I didn't see what I saw when they went to the Super Bowl against Denver. Well, he, he gets so emotional that... Yeah, but, like, I mean, transfer that onto the field. In a positive way, of course. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, he need all Line of them up, man. that one time last season. And I think I called that on the show. You did. Somebody won something. So well, maybe, I, he didn't, maybe he didn't have enough things to doubt about. Yeah, true. <laughs> So the last piece, as always. So oh, GG. No, 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 no. Yeah. You want to down low? Yeah, right there, buddy. Yeah. You're the expert. <laughs> You're the expert. It's your Let's helmet, see. bro. I mean, I mean, who, who, who am I? <laughs> Trying to get my helmet game, helmet build game up. Exactly. It's coming. It's coming. I like it. So I'm, just, I'm thinking, you know, typically I would put this guy on, Steve. Yeah. But with Corey here, and he's the Panthers fan, why don't we have Corey put it on? Corey's okay. okay. Is going to fit your big ass head? Ooh. Oh, oh, shit. My God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Who is this guy? Dude, guy. Yeah, pull up a seat. Corey, have a seat. You spend pretty much most of your time <laughs> in the house where it gets pretty Oh, cold. shit. Yep. You're out there, you're busting your ass, you're sweating and everything. So we wanted Corey to give you this helmet. You're a full of shit. <laughs> thank you for just some of the extra work that you do. <laughs> Look at him. You. Look at him sitting there in it. Can't believe that this is actually his. That's crack up. Yeah, this is not mine. So this is now, I hope you have a good home for this. This is not mine. Don't maybe, play. Maybe we can throw in a... Uh, a helmet hanger, so you got somewhere to hang it when he gets home. I, I mean, at this point, you gotta give it. Are you serious? Sure? <laughs> right. well, Corey, thank you for all of the work that you do for us and the hard work and everything. And it does not go unappreciated for sure. This is just a little. Keep bit it on, bro. <laughs> I would cry, but yeah, he's hiding in there now. Take this helmet. Take this helmet. <laughs> take the helmet off now. Right, yeah, see. man. Let's put this guy right here. He bullshit, right, Corey? We've been planning this for a long time. We wouldn't lie to you. She is now yours. So yes, to answer your question from earlier, this is for a, a VIP. Yeah, a VIP happens to be you. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. I, we know you're going to enjoy it. I can tell not right now. We're going to make the right decision on this. So let's go over this real quick. We've got to do this then. This could be the last time we see this. Let's see. I know. So It'll be back. 
So what we <laughs> what we've got here is a Riddell Speed Flex. This is a used model. We had uh, this nice Carolina blue chrome put onto it. We've got a we've got like a gunmetal black chrome face mask with matching chrome face mask anything. clips. Uh, we've got the Carolina blue chrome strap locks, Under Armour clips, valve screws. We've got Panthers on the back, Panthers on the front bumpers. We've got number 18 because this is 2018. But you know, Corey, who's your favorite football player? Peyton Manning. Peyton. So maybe there's a little double meaning there. Then we got the American flag. We've got the NFL logo. We've got a warning label. We've got a Shock 2.0 Sapphire visor. We've got a custom Sports Star chin strap that's all blacked out. NFL package. We've got black Sports Star buckles. Um, and we've got even the black Z on here. I mean, this thing is all black yeah. and all blue. And it is so subtle, so sweet. you really got to go up to it to appreciate it. I'll load it up with B-roll. But that thing is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. I mean, really, really cool, man. Yeah, this is this is a really special one. Congratulations. Um, it, Corey's even more special that we're able to give it to you. The gift is in the giving, so we really do appreciate all the work. I'm still in shock. <laughs> I still don't believe it. It's like, it's probably good. We're going to cut it, and then they're going to be like, nah, it's not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> not going to happen. Not going to happen. So listen, leave comments below. Uh, thank you for everything. Give us a thumbs up uh, if you like this video and you want to see more of these. And um, also, um, check out GreenGridiron.com. This is the time of the season where we're selling a lot of stuff for people who are getting ready for next season. Yes. And uh, we have a lot of stuff that we run out of stock. I didn't know they had a website. More things. Um, so if you have your eye on something, get it now. Uh, we might not have it back in stock uh, by the time the season starts. Yes, sir. Until next time, cheers. 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 Cheers, guys. That was cool, man. And you know what? We're going to put a like on that. Why have two people disliked that? I have no idea. Idiots. <sighs> awesome, man. All right, so um, you know what we're going to do just before I go? We're going to go greengridiron.com and check out the prices of a helmet. I don't know how much one costs. I don't know where to buy one from. So let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's see what colors I like. Okay. Um, what's the difference between a youth helmet and adult? The major difference between a youth and adult football helmet, besides the obvious size difference, is the shell material. Youth football helmets are made with ABS plastic, which is lightweight, durable, and designed to withstand a great amount of force. Football helmet buyer's guide. At what age should I upgrade to an adult helmet? There's no definitive age barrier. Players should look to upgrade to adult level helmets in middle school or before, between 12 and 14 years old. In fact, 14 may be pushing it a little bit. Adult football helmets are made with substantially stronger, lightweight, polycarbonate material designed to offer maximum protection for incredible impact force, especially in helmet to helmet contact. Oh, that's going to be terrible. <laughs> um, okay. The heaviest helmet is 4.25 pounds, which is about two kilos, which is significant. Okay, so I'm going for an adult helmet. All right, let's go um, adult. And I want to see an NFL one. And we've got one, Dallas Cowboys. Okay, we'll go adult and I'll see a college one. None. Okay, we'll go no organization. We've got four. Hmm, Dallas Cowboys helmet. Type. Um, which one would I like? Helmet types. Riddell Speed Authentic. Most popular helmet of NFL players over the last decade. Limited edition Blaze helmets are concept helmets in conjunction with the NFL. Only available while supplies last. Uh, VR, VSR4 optimizes the classic football helmet design equipped with a Z2B face mask. Oh my god, I don't know what the fuck I'm reading. 
But anyways, so 139 bucks for a, a Dallas Cowboys helmet. Hmm. Face mask. Does that not include a face mask? Maybe not. I want to see a visor. What kind of visors do you have? Hmm. You know what? I'm going into a rabbit hole here, guys. Let's go merch. Green gridiron. Okay, so that's your that's your little logo. It's quite cool. Reminds me of Transformers. Oh, sorry. Reminds me of Power Rangers once again. Um, free shipping on orders over 100 bucks. Well, legit. All right, you've got a cool website. Um, I enjoyed your video, guys. I really did. And I want to say thank you once again. And if you guys have, met, have made it, and if my subscribers have made it to the end of this video, I want to say thank you to you guys. Because it's been nearly half an hour. And these videos do tend to drag on a little bit when I, when I start to delve deep into things. But you know what? At the end of the day, that was a cool video. I really enjoyed the way that you did it. I'm glad I clicked on that one because it was a cool um, ending where you gave the, the helmet to your mate there. And um, lucky him. That's all I can say. What a sick looking helmet. I can't even imagine playing sport with something like that on. But, it, but that's, like, that's, that's the cool thing about it. You can, I mean, the, the gear that you wear is you can be flashy about it. You know, all we can, all we can really customize in the game of rugby is a pair of boots. That's literally it. And if you do have a really bright green or bright pink pair of boots, people are going to notice you on the field. Much like if you've got a nice bright helmet, I suppose. But does every person on the field have to have the same helmet? I'm sure they do. So anyways, as always, if you have liked it, please press like, subscribe for more, subscribe to them, and I'll see you guys back here for another one very soon. Peace out, guys. Have a great day.